What would police pulled you over and asked for a DNA test? One woman says it happened to her and she called NBC5 to investigate the suspicious stop. NBC5's Scott Gordon has been looking into the roadblock in Fort Worth. Kim Cope was on her lunch break Friday driving north on beach when she came across two police cars with lights flashing. Yeah, they were about right in here. She says the uniformed officers directed her into this parking lot. I gestured to the guy in front that I just wanted to go straight, but he wouldn't let me and forced me into a parking spot. Once parked, she says she couldn't believe what she was asked next. They were asking for cheek swabs. Um, they would pay you $10 cash for that. Um, they would also, if you let them take your blood, they would pay you $50 for that. Or at the very least, she says, they wanted to test her breath for alcohol for free. It just doesn't seem right that you would be forced off of the road when you're not doing anything wrong. She says she felt trapped. I finally did the breathalyzer test just because I thought that would be the easiest way to leave. We asked Fort Worth and Haltom City Police about this. The parking lot is on the border of both cities, and each department told us they didn't know what we were talking about. So who was doing such a survey and why? We tracked it down to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The federal agency confirms they're doing this in 30 cities across the country. Part of an $8 million survey over three years to find out exactly how many drivers are drunk or on drugs. The government insists it's 100% voluntary and anonymous. You can't just be pulled over randomly or for no reason. But civil rights attorney Frank Colosi questions whether such stops are constitutional. And then he says there's the fine print on the form given to drivers. It informs them their breath was tested when they first stopped by, quote, passive alcohol sensor readings before the consent process has been completed. They're essentially lying to you when they say, hey, this is completely voluntary because they're testing you at that moment. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. It, it just doesn't seem right that they should be able to do any of it. I mean... If it's voluntary, it's voluntary. And again, it just none of it felt voluntary at all. Scott Gordon reporting there now. Fort Worth police are still checking into all this, but so far can't find any record of its officers being involved. We should make it clear the people actually doing the survey were government contractors. The Federal Traffic Safety Administration did not respond to our specific questions.